Hello, and welcome back to another edition of Carrie's Gardening Channel. Today is February the 22nd, 2019, and I'm going to be planting some petunia seeds here today. Uh, one of the petunias that I'm going to be planting is a snowball petunia. Um, it can reach four inches across, so that's a pretty good sized petunia. And I'm also going to be planting a petunia celebrity mix. Now, I already got my double petunias planted. So I'm waiting for those to germinate for me. And um, I'm probably going to be actually planting more of the snowball petunias because I might put some down in the uh, hollow garden to uh, keep it isolated to keep the heirloom strain pure. So I already have my Jiffy Organic Seed Starting Mix mixed up. I'll have a link down in the description for the potting mix that I use. And... Um, I will also have a link down in the description for how I mix my seed starting mix. Now you can also start your petunias in Jiffy Peak pellets. That's also an option and then you just transplant them when uh, they're ready to be transplanted. So this is what petunia seeds look like. They're really tiny. So I'm probably going to be doing um, two seeds per cell and then I can just prick out the extra seedling then and transplant it to another um, six pack. Now I do use the smaller six packs too but um, they're filled with other plants that are growing and germinating so I went with the bigger ones and that'll give me a longer growing time on the petunias before they would need transplanted. Now I'm just putting the seed right on top. Now petunias need like to germinate. So I'm not going to be covering the seed at all. I'm just going to be putting it on top of the soil surface here and pressing it in. And now this is the first time I've ever grown the snowball petunia. Um, I really wanted to get Fire Chief, but um, unfortunately, they're not selling that one anymore, so I'll have to find somewhere else to find that one at. That's another heirloom. And I might be planting some uh, other petunia varieties that I've collected seeds off of for years. I haven't decided yet. Okay. Oops. I think I missed this one here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my spray bottle of plain water and I'm just going to spritz across here to make sure I get that seed nice and moist. Um, I don't recommend top watering because the seeds are so small you'll actually wash them out of the soil. So a nice gentle mist of your spray bottle. And then I'm going to take these over to the lights and um, after I finish sowing the rest of my petunia seeds. And we'll be back then when they start germinating, and I will show you just what they look like. So we'll be back. Okay, so I got my petunia seeds all planted, and I put the lid on this container here, and this will help hold in uh, the humidity and the moisture. Now, um, petunia seeds germinate best at 70 to 80 degree temperatures. So um, this is an insulated box here, and the light heats the box up to um, reach the temperature that the seeds need to germinate. Now if you don't have a setup like this, then I recommend um, a germination mat. So this light is on for 14 hours a day, and I will have a link down in the, in the description for the LED lights that I use. 
So um, when these start coming up, I will come back with more videos and I'll show them to you. Now another thing that I am going to do is I am going to check the soil to make sure it's staying nice and moist. Because um, when your seeds are germinating or you have little seedlings, you don't want your seed starting mix to dry out on you. So I will be checking this and um, I will be opening this up at least once a day to allow fresh air to come in so that um, the seeds get the oxygen that they need to help them germinate. Now um, I'll take my spray bottle if I notice the uh, seed starting mix getting dry and I will just spray across the top of it to uh, make sure everything stays nice and moist. Okay, so um, today is February the 27th, 2019, and uh, my snowball petunia seeds started coming up here. And so did my celebrity petunia mix. Oh. So today is February 28th, and I took the snowball petunias out of the enclosed container. Um, just about every cell has at least one petunia coming up in it. And I put them right under this light here. So my light is on for 14 hours a day. And um, as these continue to grow, I will come back with more videos. And I will show them to you. Now, um, with the petunia seedlings being this close to the light, I will uh, be checking on them to make sure that they don't dry out. So um, I'll be taking my spray bottle and going, and going across the top of the soil to make sure that the soil stays nice and moist. So if you like my video, please like, comment, subscribe. If you have any questions, you can leave them below and I'll try and answer them for you. Please don't forget to hit that little notification button I'll try to put a new video on. Thank you for watching and I hope you have a nice day. Bye.